Well, this looks pretty complicated. What are you guys up to today? Well, hi, sister. We are going to do a very, very complicated uh, uh, operation today. And I'd like to introduce uh, Steve Renneker. Steve has been studying harpsichord making with me for two and a half years now. Just about. And we're going to put the soundboard in his masterpiece, his last big project with me. Uh, this has been a long time in the making, and today we're going to put the soundboard in. Uh, putting the soundboard in, you have to do it very, very quickly because we use high glue and it has about a 90 second open time. So we're going to get a crew of people together to help put us in, put, to help us put this in. And just now, um, Steve and I are going to go over the last minute details and make sure we're all ready. Come on and have a look. Soundboard installation is kind of like an Amish barn raising. All the <laughs> brethren gather from far and wide and help out. So the prep work's really important then. Oh yeah, we've been preparing for this for about a week. All right, well let's take a look. So there's a lot of stuff in here that's not going to stay in here. All these little things like this are to support the soundboard after we go bar it in like that so that it doesn't just cave in and collapse, which would be a complete disaster. Well, and in fact, these are, these are, are, are going to pop the soundboard up a little bit to give it a, a slight, slight crowning shape. Right, which is important for the acoustical properties of the soundboard. Right. And so where all, show us where all you're going to put glue, where, where we're going to be putting uh, glue now. Let's uh, move this out of the way. This, these pieces that are going around the inside of the frame are called the liners, and they are about three quarters of an inch wide. Mm -hmm. And like I say, we're going to be doing about 15 feet all the way down the spine, the tail, along the bent side, and across the belly rail right here. These are the places, and across the uh, cutoff bar here. And these will all be coming into contact with the soundboard. And they gotta hold it there. And if it ever comes loose, then the harpsichord is toast. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna glue it very carefully. And so once we put the soundboard in, you've made these calls, we call them, which are, are to help clamp it. And we put this in place, and then you wanna demonstrate how a go bar works. Sure. So we're gonna have the soundboard across here, and I put this on top of the soundboard so that these go bars right here don't scuff or damage the. Uh, the soundboard, and we're going to be putting about 60, 60 of these go bars all around the sides and across the cutoff bar here, and that's a lot of pressure, so we've got a lot of support blocks underneath various points of the harpsichord, again, to keep the whole thing from collapsing under the weight of these 60 go bars, which will be exerting a lot of pressure. Well, I think the next thing we need to do before people show up is we're going to actually heat up the wood on the instrument. I'm using hot high glue. And so we want everything to be as warm as possible because the warmer it is, the longer the open time before it sets up. So we have these heat lamps here. So we're going to bring these down and set these right up close to the interior. We're going to leave them sit for about oh, 20 minutes until the crew shows up. thing let's check on is how the glue is in the glue pot. We want to have the glue exactly the right consistency. It's about right and there's plenty of it. Okay. We We're set to go then. Alright, everybody ready? Yep. Everybody mentally prepared? Everybody ready. in your character?
see an open space. Well, well done. Thank okay. you. Thank you. And thank you to everybody. Now we just got to wait. Uh-huh. Yep. We can turn off the lights. Yep. <coughs> In a few days, we'll take off the bandages and see.